Hey everybody. Uh, yeah, you know, um, oh, well, the last um, six years I've I've been pretty transparent about my experiences, my lessons, and life is full of them. Um, and when you when you um, when you embark on the journey of self discovery self-love is not always the easiest but um it is it is eye-opening it is painful it is joyous it is a revelation i have on my arm evolve or die love is a verb and once you ask the universe for something that is it. Once you put it out there, that is that is it. It is so incredibly amazing how God in the universe that he created conspired to give you what you want. And as a person with many moving parts, that I'm discovering many moving parts. Um, you know, sometimes those parts are fear ridden, <sighs> doubtful. Uh, I can I can probably name a lot, but that is not the the capital S self. And some things I am um, involved in um, exploring for my personal, emotional, and mental wellness. Um, and I'm realizing that, I'm realizing that, um, <laughs> you know, um, things happen. Uh, we make choices, <sighs> not, not all the time from the court, from the, the capital S self. <laughs> um, and we operate from parts sometimes. And sometimes those parts can be perceived as bad or flawed, but they're operating in a space um, sometimes to get the attention of self, um, sometimes to, and no, getting the attention of self, um, capital S self, so you can address things and move closer and forward and towards your destiny. I um I am in that space right now and I'm very, very grateful. Sometimes the journey is painful and it hurts others and it it, it opens up how connected and how supported you are. Sometimes the journey is painful for those closest to you and who love you and on the journey with you. Um, I am grateful for my family, my chosen family, especially, who are loving me through, loving me and my wife through, and that are um, there to support to support us both and um and especially grateful to my wife my my soulmate my partner for loving herself me and our union enough enough for both of us when um when when I wasn't operating from the capital S self and operating from a part. People, self understanding, self love is paramount for any any for anything for any relationship for any goal for any type of success 
you have to have an understanding of who you are, where your parts lie, and embrace them. Heal them. They need attention. They need to know they're not judged. Especially in this world where judgment is seems to be so prevalent and so the norm. We have to learn how to not operate and allow that inner critic to take over our lives in that way. I am um, so grateful for for choices. I will have the ability to make them. But I want to be able to make choices that lift me, that are not made in fear or made based on parts of me that I have not healed, that I haven't embraced or haven't confronted and talked to and walked through and understand it. I just, I want to make choices that will uplift me and help me be a better woman, a better wife, a better self, a better mother, a better daughter, a better friend, and a better grandma. I know who I am. I am very clear. It's the parts that I have to heal in order to move forward freely. There are some things that I have to reconcile and that is not always easy. But it's absolutely doable and um, I'm committed to it. And I don't know why I, you know, feel the need, I guess because I have been open about my life and open about my walk and you don't, you call things to you. And um, what I'm learning is, is that is, is, is um, uncomfortable because I have to be, I have to be very clear and, 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 um, and careful and deliberate about the words that I speak out and to myself. Though things come that are uncomfortable, they are only arriving to teach you more about you, who you no longer want to be or how or operate in or allow to be, you know, such a uh, large part of who you are. And to propel you into the destiny that you are speaking. Because once you speak it, it is going to happen. That is just how the universe works. And I have committed to evolving or dying. Dying is not an option for me. I am a courageous, beautiful, compassionate, funny, creative, loving spirit, among other things that are wonderful about me. And that is who and what I will, that I choose to operate in, and I will do my very best to heal and disconnect from the parts and that are of me that don't serve my capital S self. God bless you. Walk in truth. It is not always easy. But once you release the burdens it is so much better and I wish you love and self-discovery
continue blessings.